with the exception of the four Dune Buggies, which are impossible to sell as a solo player when shifting a full bunker's worth of stock. The next most dreaded selling mission is the Merryweather Insurgents. This mission has three insurgent pickup trucks carrying five batches of stock each, meaning a total of 15 jobs to be done around the map, which need to be done in under 30 minutes. So in this video, I'll show you my tips and tricks in order to sell all of it as a solo player. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before you do any selling mission, always ready up your job warping on your phone. I'll leave a full separate guide on how to do this in the description. You then want to request a job. Hey, what's up? Oh, how can I help? A few jobs have come up recently. I'll send one your way. If selling in a solo lobby, become an MC. If you're attempting to sell in a public lobby, go for CEO, so you can request to go ghost. Depending on where the first drop up for this job is will depend on your tactics. For example, I have the farmhouse bunker. One of the first drop offs during the Merryweather selling mission is very close by at Madrazo's place. But others could start much further away. In this playthrough, I get the worst location for my bunker, which is perfect to show you the tactics you can use. Before or during the mission, you can call in your anti-aircraft trailer and detach it. This will be considered a personal vehicle, which will teleport with you during a job. If it is attached to a vehicle, it will bring it along too. For these very far missions, this is a massive time saver. Make sure to detach it before warping back to your bunker to collect the next one. Do this for each insurgent. All three delivered a total of 13 miles away in only four and a half minutes. When you drop off the last insurgent, do not use the turret on top. You're better off using your AP pistol so you're still mobile enough to get those hard to reach enemies. the insurgent away from the main group of enemies to avoid getting hit. Once they're all dead, it's up to you to assess whether warping each vehicle is worth it, judging by where the next location is. Here is a comparison for this location when job warping and just get in there with the oppressor.
For the first two drop-offs, you won't need to worry about any attacking buzzards. Once you have put away your anti-aircraft trailer, do not call it back in. Collecting it, detaching the trailer, reconnecting it to an insurgent, and warping will take much, much longer to deliver. Instead, deliver them normally using a job on your phone to access your oppressor. The reason I called for a job is when I accept it on my phone and back out, my vehicle will spawn right next to me. This avoids any cooldown and having your oppressor delivered. From the third drop off onwards, you'll have to start dealing with some buzzards. These are brutal when on foot, but easily taken down with precise aiming at the pilot with your AP pistol. Now use the same tactic to deliver to the fourth location. Eyes up, shithead. And now on to the fifth and final drop off. The timer will end once all drops have been made. This one was cutting it fine due to just how far I had to travel for this particular mission, with an easier location being completed about 8 to 10 minutes quicker. When you drop off the final insurgent, quickly get onto your oppressor and miss out absolutely everything. The attacking insurgents take a lot of damage, so if you run out of missiles, land and take the rest out on foot. Everyone dead, fly away and collect your payment. So if you found this video useful, please drop it a like and maybe consider subscribing for more. I'm Beatsdown and I'll see you in the next one.